Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie, and let's get started with some World B-Day DIYs. For DIY number one, I'm going to begin with one of these Dollar Tree black canvases from Crafter Square. And I'm going to take some Mod Podge. This one is in the matte. And I'm going to give this full canvas a full coat. Very generous. And set this aside. Allow this to dry. Here it is, nice and dry. Now I'm going to take one of these Juncture scarves from the Dollar Tree. And this one happens to have a bee theme to it. So I'm just going to take a piece of this and snip off what I need to roughly fit this canvas. Not perfectly. This is going to be very organic. And I'm just going to just roughly cut it by hand like this. I don't even measure it because there's no wrong in this. You can't mess this up. You just can't. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the back of my scissors, the knife part, and I'm just going to fray all the ends. Again, this is very organic. And I'm doing both sides in this manner. Even allow those frayed ends to pull out. It's fine. It's going to be great. Now here I'm going to remove the sides. I don't need any, cl any clean edges. Again, I want this to just be as organic as possible. And now I'm going to take some parchment paper, place it on top of my scarf, and taking my mini easy press iron and just fusing this scarf onto my canvas. So it just reactivates all the Mod Podge and it'll adhere, this scarf will adhere to the canvas like this. And it also removes all the wrinkles. So it's great. So here I'm just snipping off another little piece, kind of trimming off what I don't want. It's going a little bit too wide on the side. And you can definitely use any iron as long as there's no steam. You're good to go. So now here I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and seal all this up. Do a nice generous amount again and so it looks like this set this aside allow this to dry here it is nice and dry and I'm just going to embellish this with some jute twine I'm just going to wrap it around the top a good I don't know five six times snipping off the excess and doing a nice secure knot on the back that way it doesn't come apart snip off any excess jute twine as well now flip this over and I'm going to use one of these beautiful new burlap flowers from the Dollar Tree. First I pulled them all out and I was considering using all three in a pattern like this. But then I thought, mm, this might be much. So I just, I took the other two off and I just left the one. I think the one is just perfect. <laughs> you guys tell me, what do you guys think? And here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number two, I'm going to use one of these house forms. They are MDF wood from the Dollar Tree. I think they are beautiful. They're really stepping it up with these wood forms. And here I'm taking one of these home wreaths. This one is in a copper metal and it's got this plastic on here. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but you have to remove all that plastic. I guess it's a protective thing. I don't know. Maybe they needed to cut it. I don't know. But so I removed all that plastic. Now I'm taking my E6000 brand new tube, adding my little tip to it and adding E6000 to this whole piece. I do not want any of my metal stuff falling off because <laughs> it'll happen <laughs> with hot glue. So here I'm just setting it on top and I'm going to place all these heavy paint bottles on top of it and allowing this to dry overnight. Dry and set and cure. So here it is the next day all nice and dry and looking great. I love this. Now I'm going to take some white paint in the Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to do a dry brush on this whole piece until it looks like this. Now I'm going to take some of this eucalyptus greenery. I think this is new from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take some pieces. This is a little bit too large so I'm cutting this down a little bit more and I'm just going to place this on the top in this manner and for here I'm just going to use some hot glue but it's going to be above on the wood piece not the metal holding it down with my silicone spatula, taking a few more or a couple more small sprigs just to kind of hide the middle part in this manner and pressing it down. And now I'm just going to finish embellishing with some of those really cute white wax farmhouse flowers and a lacy bow out of that Dollar Tree lace. And I'm just gonna place that in the center 
And if you're wondering where are the bees in this DIY, they're coming right up. So let me adhere this onto the DIY. And now we'll get onto the bees. So here I have a collection of bees. I'm going to use these bronze looking ones. These are from Amazon. And I'm going to snip off the little tops of it it's because they're charms. So they have like a little loop for a necklace. So I'll remove those with my needle nose pliers. Now here I'm taking one of my rub and buffs and this one is in the autumn gold. And this one comes out so beautiful on these bees. It just gives it a little definition. Look at that, it makes them look more alive. Oh my goodness, they come out so, so cute. I'm addicted to this rub and buff stuff. They have all kinds of colors, as you can see in my little box there. <laughs> okay, so now as I allow that to set a little bit, I am taking some of these wooden beads. These are the square ones from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to place this on a napkin and I'm going to soak them with a little bit of water. Just makes it easier to paint. And I'm going to take some of this folk art metallic in the rose gold color. And I'm just going to very lightly paint these in this manner. And then I'll allow these to dry. Here they are nice and dry. And I'm going to string these back onto the jute twine that I removed at the beginning. And I'll place the jute twine back on the top of this little house form. So now I gotta find the hole. <laughs> it's a little hidden in the in the foliage. <laughs> so here, once I place it on there, super cute. Now my bees are ready, and I'm going back in with my E6000, placing my little tip back on there. It just makes it so much easier. And I'm trying to stage the bees where I want them. I think this is cute. So now I'm just going to adhere these on there, and that is it for this one. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness, so cute. And yes, E6000 for the win. <laughs> and here's how it looks in a closer look at the final reveal. For DIY number three, I'm taking one of these chunky block home MDF pieces from the Dollar Tree and one of these bees cutouts from Amazon. And I'm going to remove all the adhesive on the back. I'm going to go in with this yellow chalk paint in the color maze. And now I'm going to go in with some of this burlap fabric. This is from the Dollar Tree crafter square and it's got the really cute honeycomb pattern on it so I was excited to use it and all I'm going to do is just snip off a piece to fit inside this little house form and again I'm not measuring because this is going to be super organic because I'm going to fray the ends as well but this time by removing the fibers on the sides and you definitely can't mess this one up either there's no way so just gonna fit form it inside in this manner now I'm going to take my mini easy press just to flatten this out because it's a little bit too folded and i'm just going to use my parchment paper and and a heating pad on the bottom and just flatten it out nice and flat nice and ironed and this time i'm going in with the beacon fabric tech fabric glue i love this stuff it's fantastic and i'm just going to place this on the inside edges of the burlap piece and i'm going to place it inside of this little house in this manner and I'm just going to pat it down with my silicone spatulas because this burlap fabric is thin and I don't want that stuff in my hands and I'm just going to go in with some hot glue and place the wooden bee on top and off camera I took some scrabble tiles and I just did a light brushing of yellow just to spell out buzz and adhere that on top with some glue hot glue and now I'm going to take this paint marker and color in the insides of this bee just that way it'll look more like a bumblebee super adorable and this is just coloring the burlap itself but look how cute oh my goodness this is how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number four I'm going to take some of these wood chunks from the Dollar Tree in the hexagon form and I'm going to paint them in the black chalk paint or chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree and here I was going to use all four, but then I decided to just use two. And I'm going to use some of these stencils by Essential Stencils. They were gracious enough to send me this little packet with no strings attached. They didn't ask for a video or anything. But since I'm doing one for the bees, I had to include it. It's just too cute. Look at all these patterns. Adorable. I couldn't decide. Some of these were a little bit too large for my hexagon. So I ended up just using the two. That's why I just used the two. But I, I wanted to use four. But yeah, these hexagons are just a little bit too small. 
but two of them fit perfectly. Oh, and they also sent me some stencil brushes. So these right here, this cute little pack. So I'm going to use the smallest one and I'm going to use some of, the, some of this yellow paint by Waverly, this maze. And I'm just going to dab it on there, on the lid, and then on my paper towel. And I'm going to go for it. Now I'm just going to do a very light coat. And I just go ahead and do this whole piece like this. I did find that the chalk paint was a little bit too thick for the stencils. But it still came out cute in the end. I think it came out super cute. So I'm just going to finish this up. I sped it up because this took me a little while. I was trying to be careful. I didn't use any adhesive or anything else. But look, it came out cute. Now for this next one, I did end up using some of the acrylic paint by Apple Barrel in the color bright yellow, I believe. And this one worked just as well. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I don't know. I think they both came out really cute. And the pink color is just a very subtle difference. Now I'm going to take some of this honeycomb ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add some of this to go all the way around the whole edge of both of these hexagon shapes. Just to give it a little extra embellishment. I didn't want to do too much because I didn't want to take away from the stencil beauty of this of these DIYs so I'm just placing this ribbon all around and I do this to both and then I add some cute little bows one bow on the top of one and one bow on the bottom of the other like this and I'll use the other two black wooden hexagons for another project for another video so that'll be coming up and here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number five I'm going to take one of these dry erase boards in the hexagon shape from the Dollar Tree and using my needle nose pliers, I'm removing the jute twine hanger and staple. Now I'm taking some tumbling tower blocks. I believe I used 12, two for each side of this hexagon and I'm going to place them in this manner. And then I'm also going to use, I believe 10 of these cubes from the Dollar Tree. They're just little wooden cubes and I'm placing it, I'm placing everything in this form. So it's two tumbling tower blocks and then a little cube and then another two tumbling tower blocks and a little cube. And I'm going to adhere everything with the wood glue in this manner. And I'm going to take some of this chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree, give it a good coat. And I do this to three. Now I picked up this tear tray hardware from Amazon. I'll have everything linked in my description box for you guys. And it'll be in my Amazon storefront in my link tree. Now I'm just taking a scrap piece of wood, placing it underneath one of these hexagon forms i'm going to measure this to figure out the center and i think i guessed it pretty well i just did the half and both sides i figured it's this good here <laughs> so now i'm just taking my drill and i'm going to create a hole but this drill bit was a little too small it was just it was not going to work so i had to change out my drill bit which is no problem and so we gave it a second try now this one worked much better but i sure didn't expect to have everything fall apart on the other side. You'll see when I what I'm talking about here when I flip it over. <laughs> All this stuff came off. Oh my goodness. But the screw fell went in. So hey. <laughs> I went ahead and made the hole on all three and I did some spot painting to clear all that up. And I'm going to add my little washer that came with the kit. And I'm going to screw this first piece on and then add all the little washers and alternate the hardware and the washer and screwing it on and then again one more time until I have a tear tray <laughs> and the tumbling tar blocks just gives it a little bit of a ledge that's just a cute little tear tray in the, in the hexagon shape here's how it looks and a closer look at the final reveal for DIY number six I'm using my honeycomb silicone molds I love using these things with my yellow hot glue and everything I mentioned will be in my description box in my Amazon storefront. And all I'm going to do is make sure my glue is super hot and placing it inside the, these molds. And then using my silicone spatulas, I'm going to press it. That way I can get all the nooks and crannies filled with glue. I'm going to do the second one a little different just to show you guys the difference. I'm just going to add the glue to this, but I'm not going to press anything down with the silicone spatulas and you'll see the difference. The first one is perfect. The second one, look at all the holes. So yeah, that one's not going to work. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do another one. And we'll press this down with the silicone spatulas as well. 
then it'll be perfect. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside. That way it'll allow all this glue to cool down and set. In the meantime, I'm going to take two of these honey dabbers from Amazon and I'm going to use more of this super hot yellow glue to create the faux honey. And all I'm going to do is do a whole gob of glue on the very top and allow gravity to work for me. So while well, I'll place this down on a craft clip and allow all this to just drip down naturally. Just let gravity do its job. <laughs> and I do this to both like this. And it works out perfectly. So I'll set this aside, allow this to cool down as well. Now my second honeycomb is ready and I'm removing all of these silicone spatulas and now we have perfection. And now I'm going to check my dabber. It's not quite set yet, so I'll place that back up, allow that to continue to, to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to make some cute little bows for my embellishments for these honey dabbers. So I'll just make two cute little yellow bows in this manner and snip off the excess, dovetail the ends, of course, and setting these aside. And I'm also going to use some of these plastic bees from Amazon as well. Now I'm taking my hot glue gun again and I'm going to go around the whole perimeter of these honeycomb pieces to make it look like it's melting on the sides and I'm being very careful. I don't want my hands touching this glue. <laughs> it's really hot. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these Dollar Tree cutting mats that's plastic and I'm going to place this on top because it'll peel off real easily from here. And again, I'm going to do the second one, just, just kind of adding just a tiny little bit of glue to make it look like it's melting like that. Like it's kind of drippy. Now here is my dabber nice and ready. I'm doing a nice glob of glue on the flattest side and I'm going to place my dabber on top of the honeycomb like it's just spilling on there and my little bow, super cute. And of course, a couple little bees, one on top of the honey dabber and one on top of the honeycomb and these are just so adorable you can make a bunch of these and just put them on your tear tray put them in your kitchen just whatever look how adorable oh my goodness I just can't <laughs> and I do this to both like this and you can place them however you want whichever direction just have fun with it and here they pop off Here's how they look and a closer look at the fun reveal. For DIY number seven, I am taking two of these wooden scoops. These are also from Amazon. And I'm going in with my drill again, but this time I'm using my skinny drill bit because I just want a teeny tiny hole for this DIY. Now I'm gonna take some jute twine and I'm gonna string a nice long piece and you can you if you want to do this one you can do as long as you want or you can make it as short as you want it's up to you but this is the length that I chose it's about a foot in length and I'm just taking a variety of beads that I had on hand and most of these are from Amazon I think a couple of them are I don't know where I got them but I think the majority of these are from Amazon and I'm just going to string them in this manner a solid yellow a striped yellow and black like this and i'm going to create a nice thick knot on the end of the beads that way it keeps them locked in place and i'll create another little knot at the very end to create a little hanger remove all the excess jute twine until i have them both made like this and i also take some more of these tiny little plastic bees from amazon i just think these are adorable and i'm also going to use some of these small pieces of polymer clay sweet honeycombs and I'm also going to use some of this yellow ribbon from the Dollar Tree this one's different than the other one I used in this video this one has like little swirly white details to it and I'm just creating some cute little bows and I'll create two more small bows and this one is in the black and white gingham this is from the Dollar Tree now that my bows are all ready to go I'm gonna go in with a little dab of glue on the top of this scoop and I'm going to add my bows I'm going to layer them together the black and white gingham first and then the yellow one on top and I'll do this to both and I'm just going to add the polymer clay piece of the honeycomb 
in the center of these bows just to give it a little extra something something and because they're just too cute to not use them now i did pull out four of them but i only used two okay now it's time to play with hot glue again <laughs> here we go we're gonna put a bunch of glue inside these scoops now as the glue is beginning to set and cool down you want to tilt the scoop a little bit so that way the faux honey will drip now what i did wrong here is i tilted it too soon so my drip came out super long <laughs> look at that but you know what i just went with it <laughs> second one i tried to wait a little longer and i added less glue but again it was just i guess my glue was just too hot and maybe i just tilted it too soon but yeah you'll see the drip is like not as long as the first one but it is still a little bit long <laughs> but you know what like i said i just went with it because it looks so natural <laughs> so now i'm just going to add all my little honeybees because all this glue is still warm and it hasn't set yet so i added those on there and that is it for this one super cute now I did allow this to dry completely or cool down completely and now with my Cricut spatula I just kind of popped them off and they came off pretty easily like this. And here's how they look and a closer look at the final reveal. If you're on Instagram I invite you to come follow me there. I post on there and TikTok nearly every day during the week. Here is my handle for Pinterest. I do have a Facebook group crafting group i invite you to come join us there and now we're at the final reveal let me know what you guys think and which is your favorite one I'd like to take a moment and say thank you to everybody for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video hope you guys enjoyed it i had a lot of fun creating these projects to celebrate world bee day you know it doesn't take much to encourage me to create for the bees it's something that i love i just can't get enough of i don't know <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and if you want to see more definitely subscribe and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day have a happy world bee day tomorrow bye bye